Hey everybody, welcome to Guitar of the Day. It is Telly Tuesday, and uh, I have my buddy who it's his birthday today. Woo! I think he just Woo! turned 21. <laughs> the great Grant Geisman over here. Woo! One of my favorite guitar players in the whole world, and co-writer on uh, the uh, uh, what was that? The year that never was. Oh, the year that never was. That's what happens. <laughs> and and also played, you know, on uh, what can we believe? Which was another tune that we did. And he and Michael and Nick and Brandon and, uh, and Joe, Joe Bonamassa, you know, played on uh, the year that never was. And it was a tune about the pandemic and all that. So uh, somehow it just kind of fell on me. And you know, it was funny because I had a lot of the tune written and then Grant I, I said I want to lead into these solos and I said Grant what can we do here to uh, you know set up these solos and all that and Grant said uh, well we could do this and then he played me like a Steely Dan kind of thing and then he played me this other thing that was really cool I said well I want it to be more rock and he said well how about like a Stones kind of thing and he played this other thing and it was just perfect and you know Grant is such a great musician and you know really helped put that tune together um, it was kind of very rough until he stepped in and kind of straightened me out a little bit so uh, but anyhow this is a guitar that we got and it's a very special guitar it is Telly Tuesday and uh, Grant has already put dibs on this to buy it so I'm sorry to show you stuff and then have it be sold but Grant why don't you tell them what this thing is well this happens to be a 1958 blonde Fender Esquire wow and uh it's actually, gorgeous. It's it's great. You know, it's got a little bit of what they call honest wear, which I usually yeah. don't go for. I I like stuff to be like pristine, like you know, beautiful. Well, that's pretty close, but, but that's such is, a great instrument. But it, this thing plays amazing, and the pickups are just killer. Pick up. What? That's right. Excuse me. I'm no sorry. No plural there. I, I said that maybe, because... Maybe you are getting older. Do you I, think there's well, more I, than one pickup? Well, I said that because there's a three-position switch. Oh, oh, that's right. So, uh, but there is only one pickup, which is very strange, you know, in a way. And what a lot of people don't know about Esquires is they are routed the same as Tellys for the second pickup. So they must have just had the Bonnies and they just decided we'll just make this a one pickup guitar to be an Esquire. And uh, they're ready to go. If you wanted to add a pickup, you would take the guard off, put another pickup, in maybe put a repro guard or something like that and then if you ever wanted to put it back to Esquire but this thing sounds so great I wouldn't mess with it and do anything no I'm not doing a thing except play it well and you can really play it so I'm glad it's going to a home that's going to be uh, doing it justice so Grant happy birthday thank you and uh, this is one other thing I just want to tell you don't ever gamble I mean, I have a problem with habitual gambling, and uh, I said to Grant, I'm going to sell you this guitar, and part of our deal, we negotiated a little bit, and um, I said, Grant, you got to do a video for us. And then Grant came back and said, well, I'll do it if you play organ on it. <laughs> well... I'm sorry to you guys. I'm sorry to Grant. Grant probably has never had a heavier weight tied around his ankle. But, Not uh, true. <laughs> he's so self-deprecating. But this yeah, guy I mean, is I used to be able to play okay. He's a soulful musician, so do not underestimate. It's norms. true. True. Yeah, well, I agree with you, Grant. You, you guys will be easily amused. <laughs> oh God. Listen to him. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but Grant, let's go out and we'll show these guys what this thing can do because it's do it. uh, pretty amazing. Let's go. Okay. Let's bring it out there. Let's, oh, take it out. You mean right now? You yeah, mean, oh, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I don't know. Maybe I won't play. No. <laughs> hey, everybody, Norm over here, and I got my buddy Grant Geisman, one of the greatest guitar players of all time. And uh, we got in this beautiful Esquire, and Grant has gotten a number of really cool guitars for me that are minty and gorgeous. Just and, like I like them. Uh, <laughs> he kind of talked me into this when we worked out a deal. And I said, Grant, I'll do it if you do a video uh, with the guitar. And then Grant came back and said, I'll do a video if you play organ on a tune. Well, <laughs> that's quite a trick. <laughs> so um, all I can tell you is, I'm sorry, Grant. I'm going to give you the apology before we even get started. But uh, you wanted to do... well. That's, I want to do a couple of things. I want to show a little bit about this guitar because Esquires are different. They are. And you know what's kind of cool about Esquires is that because the signal is not interrupted, 
um, you know, the signal is just direct to that pickup, and it's really, uh, it actually has a little more oomph in a lot of ways than a lot of tele. But the weird thing is, they have it's routed for the. Tele. They have a three-position switch, and up here, it's kind of like a jazz tone. It's like the dark circuit thing. They call it dark, but I think you know, back when they started making these, they they thought. They were thinking about guys in clubs that might have to switch tones, and then yep. this is kind of like a jazz tone, you know. So, uh, just kidding. And then I always, I always like to play a Beatle tune when I come in here. That's true. And, and uh, he's the king of Beatle tunes. He knows. Well, I'm not the king, but uh, I love the Beatles, and it's kind of one of my things I love to do. Um, in '66, Chet Atkins put out a, an album called Chet Atkins Picks on the Beatles, and it's great. And he does a really wonderful version of She's a Woman on that record. And so I kind of learned it in my own way. It's sort of this is sort of like my version of Chet Atkins' version of "She's a Woman." And it goes like this. <laughs> Tune. I love Bob that Will's tune. version, or whatever you'd want to call it. Right. You know, so yeah. Very, very cool. So. Uh, and now, uh, and the now thing I'm, I'm the sorry, thing I'm Grant, forcing, and I'm sorry to you guys. Because he always makes me do these videos, so it's now it's your turn. And, well, uh, thank you. Well, and I thought we could have fun with uh, Wilson Pickett's "Knock on Wood." Well, I played it about a million years ago, but uh, what can I tell you, guys? Don't hold it against me. Just listen to him. Forget about me. <laughs> no, don't forget about him. He's really good. Yeah. Okay, don't I, don't undersell it. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three. <laughs>
Sorry to do that to you and to them. <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, Norm, this guy can play. Yes, yeah, he I can. can. First of all, my bass pedals aren't working, so I'm not using that. Not that I could play them that well. But <laughs> the bass player just drags us down. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, what do we need that for? Yeah. Well, thank you guys. The great Grant Geisman, thank you guys, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Norm. Yo, Grant. Happy birthday, Grant. Oh, thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Woo! Are you of age now, by the way? I am. I, I yeah. I'm of drinking age. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, after this, I think you could probably use a few drinks. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you guys. That was awesome.